Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we'll start a new thing. We'll learn about a new language which is Solidity which is used for building smart contracts on blockchain. So you must have watched my previous video where I explained what is a blockchain. If you have not, the link for it is available on the top of the screen. And in this video we'll also learn what is the meaning of a smart contract, what does it do, how does it behave on a blockchain and we will get introduced to solidity programming language what are the syntaxes how do we write the code in solidity how do we build it and how do we deploy it on a test blockchain network that we will see today so let's get started so in this video we'll learn about building smart contracts using solidity so smart contract is basically an ethereum account controlled by code that has the logic to transfer value from one account to other based on some logic or some condition that we have implemented in the smart contract. So the Ethereum account controlled by code is called the contract account and the accounts between which the value is transferred are called external accounts or user accounts. So suppose we create mycode.sol file. So .sol is the extension for solidity language. So whenever we create a code in solidity, our files will end with .sol. So suppose we create my code.sol file and we deploy it on the blockchain network. So when we deploy this code on the blockchain network, it will get re replicated on all the nodes of the blockchain. So when this contract will get deployed on the blockchain, it will get a account address as, as well associated to it. For example, hash triple one is the address here. So this address would remain same for all the nodes where it is deployed. So hash triple one hash triple one will be the address of this contract on the blockchain network. And suppose if we redeploy this code again, in that case, this code will again get replicated on all the nodes of the blockchain. But in this case, it will get a new account address. For example, hash triple two is the address of the new contract that we have deployed to the blockchain network. So basically you can associate it with creating objects of Java code. Whenever you create objects of Java code, new instances of the class is created. Similarly, when you deploy your Solidity smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, you deploy new instances of the smart contract on the blockchain. So these hash triple one or hash triple two are the contract addresses of this smart contract. So when you compile your mycode.sol file, it creates two types of files. It creates a bytecode and it creates the ABI file as well. So bytecode is the actual code that get deployed on the blockchain network. Whereas ABI file is kind of an application binary interface or interface of the deployed bytecode that the end user or the UI can integrate with. So it is, you know, kind of an overview of the smart contract. What does it contain? Basically, it gives the idea of functions and data available in this smart contract. So let's see what does a sample smart contract look like. So this is the code for a sample smart contract. Here we'll try to understand all the syntaxes. So first of all, we'll start with, you know, we define which version of Solidity we are using. So 0.4.23 is the version of the Solidity that we are using. Then greetings is the name of the smart contract. And then, you know, it has a public property messages, which is of type string. So the name is message, public is its visibility and type is its and string is its its type. Then we have the constructor of the smart contract where which is used to create objects of the smart contract. So it is again similar to any other uh, Java or any language constructor. It takes our input arguments and creates an object of the contract and then we have a setter for the message property of this smart contract so using the setter we can update the value of the message property or set new values into the message property so for compiling this smart contract we will go to the website remix.ethereum.org it is an online solidity code compiler so remix is basically an online code editor and ide which is used to build and compile solidity code and, and also it is used to test it by deploying it on a browser based testing Ethereum blockchain network. 
so basically it creates a testing ethereum blockchain that is running on your browser which you can use to deploy and test your code so for example mycoal.sol when you build and deploy it it gets deployed on your blockchain and deploying the smart contract on your blockchain is a transaction it is in itself it requires some gas so we'll explain in a while what is the meaning of gas but you can right now relate it to money so so for creating any transaction on, on a blockchain you require some gas or you require some money to actually execute it so when remix creates a testing blockchain inside the browser for us it also creates some sample account with some sample ether so ether can be related to money or you know the currency of the blockchain so remix creates some test accounts for us with some value uh, with some ethers with sample values of 100 each at each which we can use for testing which we can use for creating transactions or ex executing transactions on this blockchain so we can use this accounts to execute the transactions that we want to do for testing our smart contract so when we deploy a smart contract we can set an initial value for the smart contract account as well again the value the ether will be deducted from one of these accounts and set into the value of the smart contract account now what is gas gas is the measure of the computation that we run on the blockchain how much processing we are doing it is the measure of that and you know ether what is ether ether is basically currency of payment on the ethereum blockchain so you pay for the gas that you use in terms of ether and for example as rupees has pesa which is its subunit dollar has cents as its subunit similarly ether has v mv gv etc as its subunits so we we can spend the ether available and the test accounts to execute our transactions and transactions are also of two types read type and update type when you execute a read type of transaction it doesn't require much ether or it doesn't require any ether at all but when you execute an update type of transaction in that case it requires ether to execute the transaction now let's open the remix id and build and deploy our solidity code for the greeting smart contract and test it on the browser based blockchain network so as you can see in the browser we have visited remix.ethereum.org open it we see this instruction message and then this guide tour which we can skip as well and then you know we the id is open in front of us we have our left panels and we have our contract folder and other folders in this id we'll create our workspace so we'll click on the plus button next to the workspace and we will give our name to the workspace so maybe we'll give it uh, maybe we'll name it first solidity workspace we can give any name that we want and then in this workspace we have our contracts folder we have script folder we have other folders inside the contract folder we will create our solidity code so we will follow the naming convention as for the other files so we'll uh, name it four underscore greetings dot sol as we have one two three already present and we'll paste our code here so we have pasted our solidity code here in this id you can see it has been pasted and now first of all we'll set the compiler version so as in the code it is 0.4.23 we will set the compiler version as 0.4.23 as well and then we will click on the compile button which will compile this code and once we compile this code you can see in the below drop down greeting contract is showing in the drop down is populating in the drop down we can also inspect the metadata of this smart contract so we can see its name its byte code its other properties as well its avi as well so we can see various properties of this smart contract in the metadata 
So this is the byte code of the smart contract. And now we will go ahead and we'll try to deploy this smart contract. So now we'll go ahead and deploy the smart contract. So, uh, so we will select re uh, Remix London as the option. It is basically a browser based Ethereum blockchain destination. And you know, it as I already told, Remix gives us some sample accounts with some Ether already available. So we will click on deploy and we will give an initial message as well, which will be passed to the constructor. And you can see that the transaction has completed and our blockchain has been and our smart contract has been deployed on the blockchain. So you can see in the transaction record, it is showing number one, which means one transaction has occurred till date. Now, if we click on message, you can see that the initial message string that we have set that we have that we had set while deploying is visible. And you know, you can call the set method function and update this message property as well. So suppose we give it as a first update so in this case uh, you know a new transaction will occur on the blockchain you can see now the transaction code has count has become two and now you can view this message as well so it is showing as first update if you want you can try it once more and you know you can you know this time pass second update as a to the set message function again a new transaction will occur on the blockchain and then you can view this message as well. So you can see that second update value is present and you can see the count is now three because we have executed three transactions on the blockchain. So friends, this was a basic introduction to solidity syntax. What is the smart contract and to the Remix ID, which is used for building solidity code and then deploying it to a browser based test Ethereum network and then you know testing our smart contract by calling its methods updating values in the smart contract account and you can see that for every update that you do a new transaction is fired so i hope you would have liked this video and we'll continue to publish more videos on the solidity language and blockchain and web3 technologies so do let us know in the comment section what kind of content you wish to see from us. As you already know, we have a playlist for microservices. We have videos on Java. We have a couple of machine learning and other videos. So do let us know what do you want to see from us and we will try to, you know, bring similar videos as per your expectations. And if you like this video, it is a humble request from my side to please take a screenshot of this video and post it on any of the social media that you use, be it Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever you, wherever you are active. And please tag me or please tag my channel's name, SPS Tech. My socials are given in the video description. So friends, thanks a lot for watching this video and stay tuned to our channel for more such videos.